Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the daily tune up today. Here we are. It's Tuesday. We had a long holiday weekend. Time to get back at it. A lot of people I heard over the weekend were kind of grumbling about going back to work. You know, kind of irritated that they have to. Well, you know what? Work is an inspiration. I know some of you may think, wow, Gary, you're, you don't have my job. Well, I'll tell you what, any job right now is an inspiration if you choose for it to be, no matter what you do. Every job is important. Each job we have, each thing we do, no matter what it is, and no matter how small it may seem to you, it still serves a purpose. The higher purpose in your functioning at work, or having a job, or having a career, has more to do with the people that come in contact with you than the actual work. You see, our work can be looked at as a venue. What we do in that venue is huge. No one's going to remember us for how much money we had or the kind of car we drove or how big our house was. What people will remember us for is how they were inspired by us. If you're not inspiring someone today in some way, whether they work for you or you work for them, or you just simply work, the people you come in contact with in your job is important. Now, if you're not working, the people you come in contact with, period, is important. Because people are going to want to hire you if you're an inspirational individual. Keep in mind, people always want to be around people who make them feel good. Right now, we're in some interesting times in our life. People say we're in the best of times and the worst of times. I'm not so sure about that. I think we're just in time. It just is what it is. Today, what I want you to do with your life, with the way you're thinking about your job, if you have one, and if you don't have one, the one that you're going to get, is how can you inspire people the most? That's the most important thing we can do. Over this past weekend, I had the privilege of talking with someone who was a career nurse. This person was very, very inspirational. The big thing that concerned that person was, was not the nursing, was the paperwork and the BS that goes along with it. We've got to get back to the basics of serving people, whether you're a nurse, a doctor, an Indian chief, a mechanic, or even a postal worker. As you meet people every day, it's those people that are going to not only change your life, but you can change their life just in the way you look at life. As we get back to work this week, let's not look at it as work. Let's ask ourselves each day when we get up, who can I inspire today and make a conscious effort to do so? Get out of your own crap for a change. Get out of your own misery for a moment and decide, you know what? If I make someone else feel good, it's probably going to help me feel good too. Now let's work on that a little bit. So until tomorrow, asking you to be inspirational today in helping someone else in their life, I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm wishing you an extraordinary day. Bye-bye.